Hello, hi everybody. Uh, so sekarang dah um, 8.35, I think kita start dulu. Okay, uh, later we'll, uh, kita just uh, welcome everybody lah to join later. Okay, and uh, Assalamualaikum and selamat malam semua. Uh, selamat datang. Selamat welcome to this uh, today's event. So tonight session, uh, kita akan adakan santai-santai je. Eh. So siapa-siapa yang sambil-sambil tengah makan, tengah selamat menjamu selera, siapa-siapa yang tengah mandu tu, berhati-hatilah di jalan raya. Eh. Dan siapa yang tengah uh, duduk dan uh, menghadap sesi kita malam ni, uh, so just sit back, relax and hopefully uh, there is some benefit to you all lah. Okay, so in uh, current business landscape, um, is uh, important to us to stay ahead of our competitors lah and also to adapt uh, changing in our market trends so today uh, malam ni kita ada uh, two industry experts okay who will share their insight and strategies for growing your business in the coming year eh? i mean uh, this year lah eh? 2023 so first uh, kita ada encik amirul from uh, easy store Uh, who will uh, reveal secrets to help your business thrive in uh, 2023 okay i believe uh, j amirul uh, sangat berpengalaman in this uh, industry so uh, and also I, i believe he is uh, very excited lah untuk share dia punya knowledge and dia punya experience with us today lah okay next uh, for the second segment we have uh, encik imran from senang pay Uh, who will uh, guide us through the steps uh, needed to secure uh, your e-commerce website. Um, so in uh, today, uh, se online security is very top priority. Lah. Eh? So Imran here will provide uh, valuable tips and advice uh, to keep our business uh, safe. So I think uh, without further ado, uh, saya rasa tanpa melengahkan masa lagi, I would like to hand over to our first speaker, first segment, this first segment, Cik Amirul from Easy Store. So Cik Amirul, the virtual floor is yours. All right. Okay. Thank you, Asni. Okay. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well tonight. Um, so before kita start, boleh tak nak minta uh, everyone uh, maybe introduce yourself uh, in the chat box and uh, tell me like what what do you sell? So before I prepare my slides. Uh. So please uh, type in the chat, uh, introduce yourself and what are you selling? Okay, why are you selling Sharon? Sharon? What about the rest? Uh, please introduce yourself and uh, what you are selling so that we get to know each other a little bit lah and then uh, boleh maybe bagi contoh ke apa ke okay so do type in the chat all right uh, okay so in this session i'll be talking about i'll be sharing some uh, tips and strategies and it falls under the unified commerce platform so uh, so i'm from i'm the head of marketing at easy store and easy store has been around for quite some time and we've seen the changes in the landscape when it comes to uh, buying and selling, uh, buying and selling commerce or e-commerce and throughout the years there has been some changes so I will be sharing uh, our experience uh, when it comes to all of these changes. Okay, so let's see uh, in the chat, okay, got books, okay, selling chicken assets, all right, nice. Biotech sales and service. Okay, baju raya. All right, sounds good. So, through throughout the years, then we see some changes and how uh, e-commerce ni it has uh, evolved lah, which leads us to today. Uh, so, it, this is the first the first strategy. It's uh, multiple using multiple sales channel as a uh, strategy. Yeah. So we know again. Okay, bila kita nak start the business any like selling, want to sell, of course, we will first we will start in social media, right? So social media, social media is great. Uh, you can reach 
a lot of people. There are a lot of people are on social media. Uh, you can get good engagement and get them to repeat purchase because you build up relationship with them. But social media still lacking in uh, certain areas. Uh, it's very hard to get new sales from social media sekarang kan. And the reach is, uh, you know, is dropping. You know, you have to really uh, do great content, get people to follow you. So it's a great channel, but it's uh, there are still some place uh, lacking lah. And then the next one, yang biasanya, uh, when we when we sell, uh, we will start looking into marketplaces. So marketplaces is great. Uh, if you're not on marketplaces, do start selling on marketplaces. Because marketplaces have ready sellers, uh, ready buyers. Sorry, ready buyers. Uh, very high traffic of ready buyers. You just put your products, and then you can get in front of millions of uh, ready buyers. But the thing with marketplaces is very uh, price sensitive market. People people go on marketplaces. They already know what they're looking for, and uh, they nak cari harga yang paling murah, betul tak? Then they sort they sort by price. Then. And the branding tak ada. So when people buy from uh, marketplaces, the marketplace punya brand tu is the one that gets recognition. So it's not your your brand, and that's not good for long term. So you want to, you know, uh, not rely too much on these marketplaces. So then you have, of course, you have your WhatsApp. So biasanya like orang WhatsApp kan uh, to close to close the sales. It's great. WhatsApp is great. To close high close rate, but it lacks data. It lacks the automation. Not reply. You know all these customers is very hard to scale. It's very hard to scale up if you are just relying on messaging apps, much like on WhatsApp. But it's good uh, to uh, build relationship with the customer. You know very personalized and high close rate. But it's really hard to scale. Then you have your online store. So online store really great for branding. You know, you bring all of those. You acquire new customers, and then you get them to repeat sales into your online store. Build up branding. You have all this data about your customers that you can use to get them to repeat, repeat purchase. But if you have the website, is you have to drive traffic to your website lah. Uh, you have to use the other channels to drive traffic to your website. So you cannot just simply have an online store and e-commerce website. And then uh, getting new customers, but it's a really good good uh, platform for new sales, uh, getting repeat sales, uh, to build up your brand, to know your customers, get uh, get some data of your uh, customers. So it's no longer about like which platform lagi better. Uh, is it WhatsApp versus marketplaces uh, versus social media, or should you start? An e-commerce website. So nowadays, the macam customer ni, uh, they prefer to buy from many different places. So in in uh, my experience, I see like customers uh, sekejap dia beli dekat Shopee, sekejap dia beli from website, sekejap dia WhatsApp. So it really depends on whichever is most convenient to them. But you have to look into like. Okay, uh, driving all this traffic into your online store for the long term because of high repeat sales and branding. So if you're looking for long term growth, the online store too is a big component of it. So then you use the other macam marketplaces to drive new acquisition of the customers of uh, customers, get them to repeat sales going to your online store, and then you're gonna social media uh, and messaging apps build relationship with them. Messaging app is Personal, so it's still a must. Even though you have a website, kapa, mesti kena ada uh, messaging app. So you combine all of those advantages. Imagine uh, combining all those uh, channels, sales channels, and using taking advantage of the each of the uh, advantages lah, the pros of those channels, combining it. So you get new sales, get repeat sales, get user reach, branding, uh, data analytics. So this is the one of the strategies that you need to do to grow your business. Okay, so which brings us to the second point, the second uh, strategy. So now you have all of these multiple sales channels. Is the 
rasa susah kan nak manage okay i am just a small business tak ada tak ramai staff ataupun i am a solo owner so macam mana nak manage all of those uh, multiple sales channels so the solution is a single unified back office lah. okay so this is where easy store can help so easy store is a uh, is a unified commerce solution so inside you know you can build up your online store without any coding okay you have shopee lazada facebook messenger whatsapp all of those to drive traffic back to uh, to your online store and everything is centralized under one uh, unified system okay so ni contoh order management dalam easy store you get orders from your website orders from your marketplaces orders from uh, messaging apps all fall under the same uh, order management then you can speed up your fulfillment process okay because everything is centralized inside then uh, you have all the customer customer information the shipping address then it's just a few clicks to fulfill and download the airway bill and print the airway bill product management all under one platform so you can clone your product listing uh, import product listing from shopee and easily create your own website so you don't have to upload your products again if you are already selling on uh, marketplaces like Shopee and Lazada you just clone your product import your product information product listing into easy store and with just a few clicks of a button you can already have your website your e-commerce website ready with all of the products so it's uh, really not much work for you uh, when you are using easy store so you can do a lot more by uh, just uh, with minimal effort okay the channel where the products are uh, listed can also be seen under the same platform uh, you can manage the price change adjust and it doesn't have to be the same price so you can have different pricing on marketplaces different pricing on the online store so but everything is can be managed under one uh, centralized uh, system which is easy store so even the product description so you don't need to go to each of those channels to uh, change the product information okay and even uh, inventory so inventory management becomes really easy because it's synchronized across all of the sales channels so if somebody purchased from shopee uh, so if you have uh, let's say you have 10 stocks and then somebody purchased from shopee then in the website also will display uh, what is the stock available, which is nine lah, because it already subtract the Shopee. So you don't have to you know, do recounting uh, of your stocks all the time and it saves up a lot of time. Okay, so ni, ni uh, penting juga lah, customer database. So with this customer database, you know who are your customers, you know who are uh, the prospects yang belum bayar lagi, uh, they just registered to your store. Uh, you can know who are your loyal customers, what they bought. So there are lots of information inside the customer database that allows you to know more about your customer. And then bila kita kenal kita punya customer, then we can make better decisions in terms of our products, uh, stock. Uh, we want to you know, purchase the stocks, the inventory. We know what they buy. We know what they like. Uh, we can do more personalized marketing. We can even do better customer service. So better customer service leads to uh, loyalty, leads to customer satisfaction, right? And everything is uh, under the same platform. Okay, creating discount and vouchers, like right? for example, uh, you can have on your website, you can have free shipping vouchers so that you can use it to increase the average order value. So instead of customer spending uh, 50 ringgit on average, you, know, you can entice them with more vouchers if they spend more, for example, like a free shipping voucher. So spend up to 200, minimum 200 ringgit and get a free shipping voucher, for example. So you can do all of these uh, discounts, these vouchers within your online store as well and not having to rely on uh, different channels, different platforms like the marketplaces. So all of the things that, you know, like add-ons, uh, buy, buy two free one, free gift, you can do in uh, your own online store so inside easy store uh, there are lots of sales channels so these are just this uh, highlighted for you so there's online store shopee 
uh, social media. So all of these are linked when you are using Easy Store, which makes it easier for you. Uh, you don't need to uh, hire more people just to grow. Uh, so which makes it uh, more scalable and more efficient business of your uh, operations. Okay, online store, build an online store uh, with Easy Store, no coding needed. Uh, you don't need hosting and it's just drag and drop. Okay, can even import your product uh, information, like I mentioned, from the marketplaces to easily build your online store. Okay, link with marketplaces, for example, like Shopee, Lazada, TikTok Shop, uh, WhatsApp, Messenger, so Facebook Live. So automate your Facebook Live, meaning that you don't need to screenshot. Tak perlu screenshot. Uh, the customer don't need to screenshot and then uh, send you a WhatsApp. So they just comment on the Facebook Live, the product code and the quantity, and they will get uh, product code and plus one, sorry. And they will get the automated uh, message through the messenger with the checkout link. So they just click and then check out and uh, make the payment. So TikTok shop, right? So with the multiple sales uh, channel strategy, you acquire new customers, you get in front of new customers, user reach, uh, take advantage of the marketplaces and bring them uh, through private channels, uh, your online store, uh, build relationship with them, which leads to higher customer lifetime value. Okay, so the, the third one, okay, so this one is more for uh, retail and we see that uh, even if you are only selling online at the moment, uh, retail is something that uh, you might want to consider in the future or if you are in retail at the moment and there's this uh, trend called uh, online merch offline and this is the future of commerce. So it's no longer about online shopping versus offline shopping, e-commerce ke, uh, offline so that this is no longer the case this is what is happening now again uh, you are at the shop I think you guys uh, have you guys experienced this you guys are at the shop you know you use QR you scan or uh, you are at the shop and then you are surveying the price through your mobile phone so this is happening today this is happening today and uh, if you look at global retail sales so this is the data for global retail sales you see the pure re retail, pure offline is dropping. And then if you're looking at online, it's actually not increasing that much either. It's uh, starting to stagnate. Uh, so it's not growing anymore. But in total, global retail still, uh, sales is still growing. Okay, still growing. So where is that growth coming from? It's actually OMO, Online Merch Online. Uh, coming from online and then purchasing offline or the other way around, uh, going to offline and then end up purchasing online. So this is, this is what's happening. Uh, so you have your QR code, you know, scan and shop, um, buy online, pick up in store, like Uniqlo, or you go to the physical shop. So uh, I, I bought Baju Melayu. So I, I, I saw just now uh, there's somebody selling Baju Melayu. So, People go at the shop just to try on the clothing, but ended up purchasing uh, online. Or they repeat purchase online because they already know the sizing and everything. They just want a different color. Then they will just purchase online. So online and offline is starting to merge together. It's no longer a separate thing. So online and offline uh, together. And so with this uh, online merch offline, so how Easy Store can help. So Easy Store also have a point of sale uh, function. So with this point of sale, it's synchronized throughout the online channels as well. Okay. So let me just uh, speed up here. Okay, so unify your online uh, and offline business in one under one platform. Uh, your customers can walk in and then they... Uh, you capture the order and then uh, print the e-receipt so you can go green with Cloud POS. Uh, turn any device. So any device with the internet can be used uh, as your POS system, which means, which means you can have uh, instant cashier. 
So there is no need for queue, and then you can have like a future retail concept where your employees just walk around with their phone for the checkout, and they don't need to um, go to the counter. Okay, so here's here's a, a short video lah of how it looks like. So I'm just going to speed up through this. So that's just for example. Okay, and then uh, the shopping app. So with Easy Store, uh, we also offer shopping app for the customers, which can be their uh, digital membership card. So they can just walk in, can scan, can scan uh, using the POS. You scan, and then you they can collect the points. So this is already included. And then if when they go back, they can also shop online through the app. So they can buy from you through the app juga. Right, seamless online and offline experience. Uh, the membership, usually for like retail now, the membership for retail they line dengan online punya online punya account dengan offline punya account tak sama. But with Easy Store, you can have it seamless. So customers purchase online, it's the same membership, it's the same loyalty program. Uh, with the uh, when they purchase in store. So they get that really good uh, seamless uh, omni-channel customer experience. Okay, shopping through the apps, uh, it's really easy because they only have to sign up once or log in once and less friction to purchase from you to repeat purchase. Okay, multi-location inventory, if you have multiple outlets. So multi-location outlets also is synchronized the inventory with the online channels. Okay, so uh, bonus, uh, there's actually four strategies here. Lah. So customer lifetime value. So when we do business, we don't want to just uh, get more sales, but we want to get good return in our inv uh, investment. So we want to make profit, right? And uh, you make profit by getting more repeat purchases using uh, one of the ways is unified loyalty program. So just now I mentioned about membership. Uh, you can create membership auto tiering, uh, Centralize your inbox message, WhatsApp, Messenger to one platform. You can broadcast message to your customers via, uh, via uh, SMS and messages. So all of these, Club POS, Know Your Customers, Retarget Walking Customers, all under one platform. So remember, you capture new customers with those online sales channels. You bring them to online store or your, uh, or your uh, physical shop with the point of sales. Get them to repeat purchase with the shopping app loyalty, which increase leads to an increase in customer lifetime value. So here are just some different case studies in terms of multiple sales channels. Um, like you can see some of these uh, merchants, they are using different different uh, sales channels. So some of them good, some of them bad uh, because they are relying. Uh, like in this case, they are relying too much on the marketplaces. Okay, but they are growing and uh, what you want to do is you want to have the online store, your website as the long-term plan. Okay, and this one uh, here is, you know, they have sales spike up every time because this one is selling uh, like Baju Melayu, traditional, traditional wear. So during Raya, they would have sales and uh, from different places like Instagram and Facebook as well. So here's a good case study. They, they really grow their business after they implement multiple sales channels. So selling on uh, Facebook, selling on Instagram, selling on WhatsApp, uh, Shopee, and even their online store. All right, so here are some other case studies. Uh, you see the orange is selling on uh, Shopee. Yeah. So this can be quite dangerous because they stop their, they slow down on their website and increase in their, uh, marketplace selling, it can be quite dangerous because they are relying too much on the uh, third-party platform. So what you need to do instead is you bring the traffic, uh, you get new customers from those marketplaces, but you want them to repeat sales uh, in your online store as well so that you can build up your brand, you get repeat repeat sales, maximize profit. Okay, so here are more cases. Okay, so what's included? Uh, unified commerce platform, software as a service, order management system. So all of these are included inside Easy Store. So even different plugins. 
So today we have uh, Senang Pay, right? So Senang Pay is a payment, payment gateway, which can be linked with your uh, Easy Store e-commerce website to accept payments. So here's, here's a sales funnel. Uh, you get awareness, you capture new audience using the multiple sales channels, like I mentioned, online merch offline to your website and shopping app. Then you use the uh, message inbox and broadcast to market to your customers to get them to repeat purchase again. They can even get a notification through the shopping app, which increase customer lifetime value. So that's the objective. You want to maximize sales and minimize costs. So how can you maximize sales? Multiple sales channel, merging online and offline together, increasing repeat purchase uh, and get higher customer lifetime value. And at the same time, minimize costs with a single unified back office because your operations becomes more efficient, um, less wastage, less manual work. You don't have to do much minim uh, minimal effort to, and getting a bigger impact. Okay, so all of those are inside the unified commerce. So there, with Easy Store, you have your e-commerce features, and you those of you with the retail you can have the modern retail features and do online merch offline. So Easy Store provide both of this. It doesn't have to be both if you are in e-commerce right now. So you can focus on just e-commerce. Uh, there are lots of sales channels and plugins and everything for you to grow your business with the e-commerce. And once you're ready, maybe you can look into retail. And same goes with those in retail right now. So in, uh, just wondering if any of you have a shop. So you can use the modern retail solution and link it with your online sales channels so that your business can grow even more and not just rely on uh, a specific channel. Okay, so... Uh, so that's it for, for my sharing. So I just want to share a little bit more about Easy Store. So if you guys are interested in Easy Store, so we do have a promo, promotion for uh, Raya. Okay, so if you're interested and you want to know more about Easy Store. Okay, so let me just share uh, the link. So if you are interested in Easy Store, you can fill up this form. Uh, we have a Raya promo, so do, do uh, register and uh, talk to our uh, consultant if you need more information, uh, if you want to request a demo, how it works. And so fill up the form and then you can lock the uh, promo price. So with the promo price, you can actually get, if you subscribe for one year, you get additional 20, uh, you get an additional 12 months. So in total, 24 months subscription at a very uh, discounted pricing. So you, you get the 12 months for free. The, the 12 months, the value of it is uh, about 6,000. So 6,000, uh, we are discounting for you. So fill up, fill up the form and uh, get, we'll get in touch with you. And you can request a demo, see how it works with your business. Okay, so any question? Yeah, untuk Raya dapat buy one free one year. So you get 12 months plus another 12 months for free. Okay, I so think, equivalent uh, you, to 24 months. Uh, let's, uh, we put the FAQ ataupun uh, any question uh, right. for the, the, on the last segment. Okay. So again, thank you, Amirul, for sharing your valuable insight on uh, growing a business and also on uh, how Easy Store can elevate business uh, to help uh, elevate the business. So uh, let me quickly say hi to the participant today. Hi, Simon. Aini. Hi, Liv Anderson. Uh, Arif Rahman. John Lim. Nur Wahida. Osana one five three Raymond Ahmad Cecilia Wanamri okay then Anis uh, Brandon Siti Amira I, I know this this one okay so thank you very much for attending tonight uh, session so I think now it's time to switch uh, gear a little bit uh, kita focus on securing our e-commerce website. 
So I'm pleased to introduce our next speaker, uh, Chi Imran from uh, Senang Pei, who will share his expertise on way to keep uh, our e-commerce site safe and secure. So without further ado, I like to invite Imran to take the virtual stage and share his uh, insight on securing our e-commerce website. Imran, over to you. Okay. Uh, everyone can hear me? Uh... I just, uh, just want to check uh, sound test. Uh, okay, so I'm I'm working with Sunang Pei. Uh, so take uh, taking care of the, the environment, the security part as well. Uh, tonight uh, we're speaking about uh, e-commerce sec uh, e uh, security. Uh, but uh, okay, we, I really have a slide with me, so I'll be sharing my screen. Uh, if you guys uh, have any question, uh, you can interrupt me anytime. I, I, I can uh, explain more about the security part. Huh? So security part, uh, maybe sometimes we uh, oversee it. Lah. Maybe the macam kadang-kadang kita pandai lebih juga lah. We didn't uh, implement certain security on on our contohnya on our our website then. Yeah. So for, for this uh, session, we try to cover the best practice uh, so we can ensure that our business is uh, keep secure and it's running uh, all the time. Uh. This is online business. Uh. Because sometimes during the night, uh, we, we may uh, receive attacks you know, from, uh, from outside countries, from uh, botnet and all this. So there are many issues Can I share my screen? Uh? So if, if you guys uh, want to interrupt me anytime, will it? Uh, just just uh, unmute. Just just talk with me. Yeah, this is it's like <laughs> it's like some slides, you know. But you you may have some questions. Just let me know. So we we continue with the uh, e-commerce website security. Okay. Uh, what what is cyber security? Uh, okay. So this is, this is like your online business. Uh, uh, that's your customers. So so like uh, on the website, uh, if if it is unprotected, uh, it allows uh, for easy interception. Eh? So interception uh, from it can come from various areas, but normally nowadays, uh, from what I, I I've observed, this is a uh, botnet. It doesn't uh, care. It, it scans the websites, the internet, and everything to look for security holes. So when when it, it found a security hole, it will uh, try to uh, deploy its uh, its, its payload like like uh, a way to to crack your your system, you know, to to disrupt your system and and such. Uh. So we we need to have extra security on our website to make sure it is safer. Safe for our customers, safe for our business. So it's the firewall. It keeps away all the, the unwanted things from our from our site. Huh? It keep it secure very well. Huh? So far, everyone understand this, right? It's, it's basically like a like a wall. Huh? You keep uh, an invisible wall, to, just to keep uh, unwa unwanted things from happening. Yeah? And then. Uh, Right now we have this called uh, SSL or or easy to, when you when you browse the internet we call this uh, HTTPS lah. It's a it's a layer of uh, to protect your website, you know. And uh, just uh, some some HTTPS certificate uh, you can buy for uh, you can buy uh, at a higher price. It, it has a good branding for your website lah. So when customers see your 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 HTTPS certificate is uh, unique. Uh, they will say, oh, this is a very secure site. They are very confident to buy on your website. But if it, it's just like a normal HTTP, no, no security, they feel like uh, uh, this encourage uh, to purchase, but they feel like maybe their data or card data may be stolen in between. Yeah? 
So that, that's the importance of uh, having this uh, SSL or HTTPS on your website. This is, I think currently is is a must to have this. It's a must. Another, you have a minimum lah. So it's, it keeps your data secure. It also reduces your downtime. Yeah? Uh, this is a <laughs> so slide. Yeah, we continue. So how do you enhance uh, security of your store? So like, like I, said, I said earlier, so you can use like this uh, third-party uh, service called Cloudflare, if you guys have heard it before. So Cloudflare is, is like a, a service a third party service is, is free to use and they, they give you uh, your website, uh, HTTPS, and you also have its own internal firewall. It's, I, it call it IPS. It, and then it, it is to prevent uh, autom automatically, it, it also can prevent DDoS attacks, you know, malware and other kind of botnet attacks to your website. And there are also other security steps that uh, you, can, you can put on your website. Huh? You, you can only allow the party since private certificate. Ah, okay. And this is uh, <laughs> one of my stuff. <laughs> this is a fun slide. Uh. You can read that. Uh. Uh, so, talking about HTTPS as well, firewall, DDoS attack. So, basically, uh, for our site, for, for website to protect to protect website, it's basically like this. Uh, you have the HTTPS. Make sure it is uh is running. Uh, then your firewall. Uh, make sure it is uh, up. You know, you, you you need someone. Uh, maybe you need someone to help you to to configure this. Uh, some if you have like a hosting, they can also help you to set it up. But if you need more advanced, you you may need to approach a developer, web developer. You can help you set it up for your website. It's it's not it's not really that expensive, but it it helps you a lot in 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 the long term. So it, it is good to have uh, additional security, especially like when when DDoS attack happens. Uh, your your business is uh, your online business. For example, if you rely on it, uh, we have a very long down downtime because if if you're not prepared for it. So this this happens sometimes. It happens randomly. Sometimes it's targeted. But uh, most, of, most of the time, these targeted attacks is uh, done by a group of hackers. Uh. They, sometimes they're from, uh, from outside countries, uh, normally from, uh, from Russia, from uh, New Zealand, sometimes from, from all, all the Western countries. Because they are, they are quite, quite they call IT savvy and you know, they, they are trying their luck. Uh. Sometimes they, they try to ransom your, your website, uh. your customer cannot access. So they they're asking for money and all this, you know. So it, it create a very very un, unwanted experience for the customer. Then the customer will start complaining and all this. So it creates a bad image. Uh. So it's good to have all this protection, uh, and well equip your website for it. Uh. And another th another thing, uh, security is for for our end. Like uh, it's good to have a, a two-factor authenticator. So this one is uh, is to keep your website secure. It, you can also enable it on Facebook, on Instagram, you know, because we we also sometimes we often we hear like uh, Instagram account got hacked, you know, easily. So most of them is because uh, they this uh, they they got the password from other other places. Uh, I think this these hackers they they reuse this password. They try. To get your password. So, without the multi -factor, multi factor authenticated MFA, uh, uh, they, they can take over your account, then they, they will ransom the, the owner of the account. So, it's very troublesome to get it back. And sometimes people just give it up and just, you just make a new account, you know? And but it's, there's a lot of work, basically. Another thing is uh, to avoid using uh, easy, easy to guess password. You need to use strong password, you know, keep it, keep it in store in, in a good place. Uh. Uh, there's uh, ways to improve your security. Uh. Okay. Uh, so our uh, company, uh, Snappy, is a payment gateway. So we, 
we have, we undergo this uh, PCI DSS. So is to ensure that uh, the system is very very secure. Uh, it, it's like um, uh, similar like banking level security. Uh, and it's, it's very strict. Uh, we, we need to go through the compliance every year, you know. So they will, uh, in every quarter, uh, four times a year, they will check our system if it is uh, to their standards. Uh, yeah. So this is a, a very uh, secure way to ensure that our system is 100% uh, very secure. They will ask, uh, why, why, why don't you do this? Why are you doing that? So it's, it's a very, uh, Strong process to ensure that our system is uh, verified and good. Yeah. And so, like other other companies also that also go also go the through go through the same process like Bank Negara, Paynet, yeah, Mastercard, and all that. So even even uh, certain certain uh, other payment gateway also they also use this. Uh, uh, for example, like the Cloudflare, you know, to protect their uh, their the system from this uh, DDoS attack. Because sometimes they, they are the, the main providers, so they, they are also targeted by this hacker, this group of hackers. So they need to protect themselves from, from them. So they need they, they use this uh, third-party service uh, to protect their website. Yeah? Okay, let's uh, keep continuing. Okay, I'll take an answer. Always practice internet safety everywhere. Yeah? Human error, yeah. Human error is also one uh, one situation. So, so it's good to always have have a backup of your, of your data also, just in case of the rainy day. Yeah. yeah. So even though if we have our firewall, everything, but that is just the best practice. Uh. So, but we need to have additional as well. Uh, you need to be aware, like. Uh, you need to keep your data somewhere, you know, save it, uh, compress it, or you encrypt it, you know. So if you have the backup, you are you are considered very safe, very safe. Right. I I think uh, I I I have a, like a short demo la, of how this uh, Cloudflare works. Right? That's uh, let me share my screen. Uh, Okay, uh, Cloudflare, they, uh, they have a few few plans that uh, we, we can use. So for, if you just want to try out uh, basic protection, it, it's free. You can try out uh, from, from, their, uh, from their website, cloudflare.com. From there, uh, uh, it's, it secure your site on a DNS level. Eh? So it, it has some, uh, and analytics, you know, to, to see whether your your site is being attacked, so and so. Yeah, yeah I give you an example. Uh, one one uh one of my clients they uh, they asked me to, to to take care of their website. Let's just show you. This is like the, the actual interface of what's inside the cloud panel. So so companies they use websites uh, to to enter their system. Uh. So we can, when, when you when you implement Cloudflare, you just need to point the DNS to the Cloudflare DNS. You just you need to register first, of course. So from here, they have the overview of uh, how many visitors they have a day, so they know uh, how many. So a, a little bit of background of, of uh, this client. Uh, previously, they they uh, they come to me. They, they say that like, their website falls down. You know, so. Uh, then, they, then he said, "Oh, shit! Can they attack? Then can the virus and all this?" So we 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 said we also not unsure how how to how to solve this. Then uh, we got the idea of using the Cloudflare. Then we we enable all the security features, enable it to the maximum. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, the the website. Um, few years now, no no, no issues. All all the problems uh, we 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 all goes away lah, basically. Like the attack, they put your website, the attack, and the DDoS, and all this. Yeah? So we, we, we enable all the features uh, protection on it. Now. Yeah, we can show you the, the locks here. Yeah, for example, the security locks can show you. 
but this is a live data lah. Like for example, the the attacks is from from which country? You know, we can show you. Uh, mostly from the US. Uh. I'll show you for uh, thirty days. Uh. So you can you can see they can see they can threats from from France from US. So mostly from from other outside countries, they have uh, a lot of threats uh, from Russia, from India. You know? They are trying they are trying to get uh, access to the to the website illegally. Uh. So normally, uh, what, what 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 I do as a system engineer, uh, uh, system uh, observer, like, like security person, we if there were a lot of threats from certain countries, I usually uh, block the country. If I don't have customer from that country, lah. normally we do that. Lah. But if, if blocking is too, uh, too how to say, uh, too, uh, too extreme, maybe we can use uh, like this called manage challenge. Lah. You have the option there. Lah. Uh, so, uh, let me show you the, the settings. Yeah, that's just an part of security, too. It's a WIF. Lah. We call this a web application firewall. Lah. So this this is available on the free account. Yeah. So you, you have all these uh, additional uh, firewall just for free. Yeah. You can use it for your website. Yeah. Then it's on the on the DNS level. So it, it doesn't uh, disturb your current store. It, it just helps protect it. Yeah. To protect it. Yeah. So I use a manage challenge. Yeah. So for manage challenge, uh, it it is just uh, auto automatically Cloudflare will they will scan the whether this this traffic is a good traffic or a bad traffic. So we only want the good traffic, which is uh, from, uh, from our customer to access our website, you know? So from bots, from the botnet, they all patutnya kena block lah. You tak boleh masuk kita punya website. Okay. You also have the, the automated DDoS, you know, all this. So this is a lot of, lot of security features. Uh, Cloudflare, they give it for free. You know? It's uh, by, by default, okay? you just need to point the domain, you know? You just need to register. Okay, I think this about uh for now. I think this about the security part. If any any question, just let me know. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Imran, for your your tips, your insight. Uh, one thing yang point yang Imran bagi tadi is uh at least a website tu kena ada SSL lah, which uh kalau you tengok tu uh, the URL is uh, hash https eh kalau you if you can see uh, senampe https.senampe.my uh, easy store uh, easy store also https.easystore.co so uh, there's a one one thing uh, one layer of the the security lah so okay uh, i open to the floor if uh, you guys have uh, any question to Encik Amirul or even uh, Imran on the security so i open to the floor Feel free to to ask to open your mic if you kalau tak 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 nak bercakap or you just can uh, uh, put inside the chat uh, punya area so nanti I I will uh, I akan bacakan dekat uh, chat punya area. Yeah yeah I, I I think I missed one part. It's called okay Imran. Uh, it's it's called uh, phishing activities or scammers uh. So this is quite common as well. Uh. So we 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 also been received some uh, some certain attempts of uh, scam, uh, scamming or phishing yeah so this uh, these people they try they got our contact maybe from the internet you know from uh, from clients yeah then they they try to um, mask themselves as authority authority people are like for example uh, one guy from uh, from another department suddenly email you but it looks it looks like from the set from the person but for some reason it, it looks weird you know like uh, why why is this person asking for 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 our you know for sending for, for example they ask us to send money to this account is so it's very weird then we 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 investigate we found out that they they uh the email is not actually from from us though. it's actually from outside uh, it's uh they call it like they they're not they're not who they're not whom they are lah. and then sometimes uh they also ask us to contact through whatsapp and all this we, we we thought it is the, the real person, but actually it's not now. Yeah, you have to be careful, lah. Like uh, now this the uh, the scamming is uh, very very how to say uh, very dangerous, uh. <laughs> A lot of things, uh. Sometimes they they target they target uh, people with uh, 
high income, you know. You have to be careful. Uh. Families also may, may also, they also try to mask themselves like uh, they're from, uh, they look, they may look legit, but you need to double verify, uh, especially when it comes to money, money uh, related things. You have to verify that uh, this is not from them, you know. Say, so, uh, are you sure? Uh, you have to, you have to ask this, you have to ask the question. Uh, are you sure this person is, is this person? Uh, uh. So if, if you, you are aware of that, it's good. Uh. Okay, Jim Ren, one uh, question. How can hackers manage to steal data or especially credit card data from website? Can you share a little bit about this? Credit card data. Uh, we, uh, actually, from, from website, yeah, uh, it's really well secure. I mean, they use HTTPS. Uh, they, they, they cannot because uh, the, the, the data is really encrypted. Dalam tu, they memang, they memang tak boleh nak atur lah. They can't they, they decrypt the thing lah, because it's it's uh, end end to end encryption lah. So within the the web browser and the you know, endpoint to memang secure, but uh, you, you need to be careful lah. Sometimes like on, on your PC pun, you 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 jangan sebarangan download macam programs or uh yang macam malicious lah, macam or from website yang pelik pelik ke. Tiba -tiba you menang something, you click, you suruh install something. Ah, uh, you careful lah. <laughs> they they may install something on your on your phone. You know? they, they it's, it's like this uh, scam software lah. So if, if from uh, you need to install from uh, legitimate sources like from uh, Google Play or Apple, you know, Apple Store, you know, the one that you are sure that that software is uh, verified. If you install software and yeah, it's not verified, huh? It's quite dangerous, huh? especially on people right now. This is using phone or, or using, uh, uh, or even on laptop. Pun sama juga. If you install, my, my install this plugin, that plugin, there, there, there may be a chance that you may uh, accidentally install a software which actually uh, try to scan for your card number. So it's actually not happening on the website, it's actually happening on the PC itself. Huh? So it's good to have the antivirus you know, running. And uh, anti anti malware scan, you know, once in a while. But but the most important thing is the the apps too can verified by by the ni lah kan. Yeah, you, you need to check check this lah. But but this is like like certain situation is like this lah. The the kadang-kadang kita salah install lah. Ah, the especially for software software yang from from not uh, legit sources lah, you have to be, have to be very careful lah. Any any questions? Uh, Mr. Im Mr. Imran? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ali okay. here. Uh. Okay. Uh, so do you mean uh, by using Senampe, we no need to engage with the third party provider for example like Cloudflare? Uh, like, like Senampe is the, just, just the, the end point. Lah. Kita macam kita provide the we provide the infra infrastructure for uh, infrastructure for the payment payment gateway punya benda lah. But for your own website, you can have your own protection juga tu. Dia macam like your, your website, kadang-kadang uh, this, uh, this hacker kadang-kadang dia orang target juga merchant your website tu. They, they, maybe maybe uh, they were they were doing a, a targeted attack kadang-kadang. Uh, so it's, it's good to have extra security like uh, addition, like Cloudflare ke, ataupun uh, at least at least must have HTTPS lah at least paling kurang pun. You can, uh, I think I think all, all, all websites should should have HTTPS right now lah. Yeah, and up to date lah. And then uh, the software that you, macam if you are using WordPress ke, apa tu, eh, you have to make sure that it is uh, on latest version and the plugin must be latest. And then uh, you need to install the plugin yang uh, yang you you guna lah, you, yang you are sure it is not insecure lah. Kadang-kadang ada kat tengah-tengah the -tengah, plugin pun dia orang ada rogue juga tau. Be careful juga lah. It's a uh, have have to talk with the developer to be careful about the security things lah. Okay, uh, any other questions? Okay, thank you Ali. 
So any other question? Okay, in the chat uh, area, I had uh, Cik Ahmad is asking something about data. Yeah, maybe I can answer that lah. Uh, ah, okay. So okay. just now the presentation, uh, there is the data. There is just an example, demo, of what you as the merchant you can see your customers' uh, information with uh, regarding to the transaction. So when your customer check out, so they fill in some information like their phone number, shipping address. So that information uh, is available to you. So just now what I showed is just a demo uh, example of what you would see. Okay, Encik Ahmad. With Encik uh, Amirul menjawab soalan. Okay, or are there any, any more questions? Maybe regarding the security, regarding uh, easy store. Do you analyze that uh, date or data, right, Cik Ahmad? Cik. Uh, you mean go into your data too? Uh, no, we don't go into that data. Uh, so. That is yours. We have uh, some terms of service and everything and uh, privacy policy. So you are protected by that. Unless, unless it is, uh, you give permission and, uh, in the case where you need technical support. Okay, Cik Ahmad. All right. Thank you, Cik Ahmad. So, any more questions? From the floor. Okay, uh, just to add on, Tadi, uh, yeah, regarding uh, Cloudflare too. Hmm. Uh, so, with Easy Store, is, Easy Store is fully hosted. So we have a team of developers. So regarding the security of your website, that is all handled by Easy Store. So you don't have to worry about any uh, attacks or anything. And uh, in terms of payment, uh, so you can integrate with Payment Gateway. So it's not you are handling your own server or anything. Uh, so we have a team of developers, that will, engineers that will be handling that for you. Okay, well, another question. How about SQL injection? I think J Imran. Hmm, SQL, SQL injection. Uh, it's a bit technical. Uh, normally, this is a programmer level. Uh, your question. Uh, briefly, briefly. <laughs> the, normally, the, the cloud flight, they will detect. Uh, they tell you that there's a certain attack. They have a pattern. Uh, so, Cloudflare ni dia punya teknologi dah berguna AI tau. Dia sekarang ni dia dah advance. Dia tahu satu-satu pattern dia boleh detect lah. Kalau uh, dia tahu yang ni adalah SQL. Dia memang dah block. Dia akan block the attack before the attack reaches the website. Dia memang on the DNS level dia dah protect kat situ. So, sebab uh, macam if for example like if, if we like uh, we just have a normal HTTPS and no additional protection, uh, no DNS level protection, the attack memang terus tak kena, kena kat website kita. So, kalau kata website kita, kita tak macam pasang defense, you know, like this uh, hardening ke apa, uh, memang kena lah. <laughs> so, sebab yang Cloudflare ni, dia dia boleh, uh, apa? dia boleh, it detects this, uh, this kind of attacks, uh, then they, they will mitigate the attack lah. So, uh, even even like DDoS attack pun, uh, they automatic automated they they know like from uh, AI too they boleh uh, they they analyze how the pattern of the attack and then they stop they stop the attack if, even before reaching the website. Uh, that's, that's how I understand how the Cloudflare works. Huh? But I think it's more complex. <laughs> you need to ask the engineer for Cloudflare to explain. But... 
So meaning 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 kalau tak nak pening-pening just use Easy Store as your platform, platform. Sorry. And uh, senang pay as your payment gateway lah. Promote sikit. <laughs> okay, any more questions? Okay, it's uh, 9.35 uh, already. So you guys, ada last, last. Okay. Okay, if uh, no more questions, I believe um, kita dah sampai ke uh, at the end of our session tonight. So I believe uh, for if uh, Easy Store customer, uh, senang pay have uh, kita ada special offer lah for Easy Store customer. If you subscribe with Easy Store and you want to use senang pay as your payment gateway, kita ada special offer. So check out dekat uh, Easy Store punya website lah. I think that that uh, ada dekat website Easy Store. So um, I believe I uh, thank you all yang ada malam ni participate with our actually is our first session uh, webinar session uh, sharing all uh, regarding business regarding technologies and uh, everything uh, where kalau ada berkaitan dengan business online. So um, yeah, uh, just stay tuned with our social media. Uh, Insyaallah, we we kita akan ada lah another session. So I believe uh, that that's all. Thank you very much, all. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Jia Amirul and uh, Easy Store team. Thank you very much, uh, Senang Pay team. Uh, kita jumpa lagi. Have a good day. Bye bye. Salam. Okay, bye. Thank you. Salam. Terima kasih, terima kasih.